Hello and welcome to the Oceanic Systems YouTube channel introduction to our products. One of our longest manufactured products has been our fuel senders have become very much an industry standard uh, and I have them here in front of me now. The fuel senders are capable of measuring tanks from 250 millimeters or about 9 inches in depth up to 2 meters in depth about 6 foot 6 inches and they are simply cut to length to match the, uh, uh, the depth of the tank and mounted at the top of the tank and will measure the fuel level in the tank. The sender has three different types of mount. The 5 bolt SAE is this type of mount where there are literally 5 bolts in a pattern designated by the um, uh, SAA organization. Note that these are not evenly spaced around um, and they're designed to only go into one position in the tank. Or we have our one and a half inch BSP thread, which is a single threaded mount with an O-ring at the top, so that's a parallel thread. It screws down into the tank and seats on the O-ring. Or in our the American customers, we have an NPT taper thread, um, which does not have an O-ring, screws down into a tapered thread in the top of the tank until it binds tightly and produces a, uh, a fuel-proof seal there. And now I'd like to show you just how easy it is to calibrate this for your tank. To calibrate the sender, it needs to be plugged into a network. So we're plugging it onto this network now. So this is a standard NMEA 2000 network. And when the sender is working, it will give you a single blue flash every two and a half seconds, which indicates that it's transmitting its message. If the blue flash isn't occurring, check the connections are good because the power may not be good. Or if the blue flash is occurring very quickly, check that the connections are still good because that means that this unit isn't seeing any other unit on the end of the network. So there is, there are, I'd still be very suspicious of that. Now we have a sheet here which shows you how the boat tanks are typically laid out and how they're numbered. And the numbering of the tank is done with this little switch here. So rather than any setup on a computer, you can literally just turn the tank sender from tank 0, tank 1, tank 2, whichever tank number it is in the boat, and that's it, you finish the setup of the sender. When it comes to calibrating, we turn the switch temporarily to E for empty, and then having placed the tank into an, placed the sender into an empty tank, we will touch the area called magnet with a strong little local magnet and you see immediately the blue light comes on for a couple of seconds, goes off and then starts flashing. So we have now calibrated this to an empty tank and that's all you have to do. To calibrate that to a full tank, we, we turn the switch to F, put it in a tank that's full of the fuel and then same as before, touch the magnet to the switch the light comes on for a couple of seconds and then goes off to that. And then if we turn the sender back to, say it's the first tank in the boat, so it'll be tank number zero, and then it's sending. That sender is now fully calibrated, you've done it. It's as simple as that, it was so quick as that. And now you can see that we're showing 100% there um, on the gauge. Um, to show that it's, it, 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 it's been calibrated to that point. We've actually calibrated the full point to an empty sender, which is why it's showing full, even though it's not in the lift. So it's as simple as that.